So Chris Medlin. And this one popped in the air, shallow center field. Jordan Schaefer squeezes it. And, the and yes, that cap bill needs work. Not a fan. Uh, climb the ladder, gets rid of Tulowitzki to Haitian and a guy that who knows where he'll end up. Starter with a broken bat into center field. Schaefer charges, and it's a base hit. Well, I'll tell you what. That's about it. If he wasn't alerted to the fact that Casey was going to be back behind the runner. 1-2 now. Kerr laced into right center field and a base hit. Helton around third. The balk is going to come home to score. And it might have been a little off the plate, but boy, that was close. The 2-2. Got him. There's the curve. And Medlin. And then Webb sinker, but it's a little harder. On a bounce out to second where Barmas corrals. Still under four there. Going to the post with your starts is pretty good. Tulowitzki collects this one. Throws out Kochman and a couple tapes of himself. Positive reinforcement. Watch the stuff he's doing well. Like that. I mean, that's funny, isn't it? That he'll just go in there and watch good screens. You know, I pull out that one dusty yeah. VHS tape that I have in my sophomore year of high school, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that one hit on a line. Mac barreled that one up. For scouting report in my life. Should be cool. <laughs> Little roller to the right side. Kelly charges under hands. Yeah. They've been great. They are 17 and 3. Ready this year at Gwinnett. Cook punts it back to the mound. Medlin looked at second. And that should have been an easy call. And ball here and AAA this year said, hey, look, if he does the same things that he did down here, I probably am not going to see him again. Johnson under. He's got it. And that's the inning. Low roller right side. One away. The players over there. But I'm tired of it. <laughs> Off the plate. Nice play by Cook as he gets wow. rid Gary Stuff. It was in 2004. Yeah. And Frank Core goes the other way. He smoked a base hit to right field. Cook taking his time, 3-2, and a ground ball, head base hit left field. So Schaefer with the hit. Little roller, third base side, Cook slips, throw to first, in time. It's not jump around, is it? No, but it's in that sort of vein. Oh, good. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Schaefer had him played perfectly right at him. Two down. Doors. Yeah. Pretty well hit left center field. Anderson on the move. Anderson back to the track and holds it in. We got to talk to him. Third base is Garrett Atkins picks it up and throws him out. And uh, not the first time we've seen either an umpire or an opposing player upset. With Unell because of that. Where the bat was starting, and they had a very good at bat. Wow. Oh. And he was outstanding. Base hit left field for Ryan Spillboards. He pitched. Them. Wow, that one way outside and down to third goes Ryan's. The American League balls as being slicker. And that one hit the pitcher. Wow. And that's going to do it. I think Bobby's seen enough. But this is an opportunity for James Parr to try to entrench himself. Left field shallow. Anderson the grab. Quickly fires it back in. And there is. But from the quotes you weren't sure if he entirely heard it. Popped up. 
And this one a mile high. McCann gets rid of the mask. And he's got it. A couple of so a big spot. Here we go. Three and two. High fly ball right field. Well hit. Frank Korback. Jeff at the track at the wall and it's gone. I'm not sure whether he got a piece of it or not. But a grand slam for Todd Helton that just got out of here and it's six nothing. If it didn't hit his glove, it definitely hit the top of the fence. And as hard as that wind is blowing, you good effort, but that close. That ball is rope right field. And off the base of the wall, takes a tricky bounce. Hop around second, hops headed for third, and he's got a triple. Got the game after they got snowed out in April. Right side, help. Well, let me ask you something. Pulled to the right side, Barmas. Two outs. He will eat. Really scuffling and needing maybe somebody that gets the fans fired up. They elected to be place. And we're going there this year. Frank yeah. Going the other way. And looks like Greg Norton's bats working out pretty well. Two aboard with two down and Schaefer. Up the middle to Tulowitzki himself. From coaching the guys working that home plate area. Center field that is well hit Schaefer back and it's off the wall. And. Mark gets him to chase. Bennett Reyes and buddy Carlisle last night. Carlisle was forced into do all time leader with 58. A strike on. You know, Escobar, and if he puts this ball in play, where the bat goes. Extra rest, as it were. Liner to left, and Spielborg's there. Player. Yes. And a base hit to right. Nice quick swing, 99. Four drifts back. Off related with that, do you? <laughs> Hit hard, fair ball down the line. Fowler was on the goal, didn't pick up the pitch. Now he does, and he's still going to be able to score. And a huge night for Todd Help. Getting slugged over 500 since 2005. 2 2. Kelly's there. Throws him out. Far ahead of Ionetto at two. And that one up the middle. Kelly Johnson fields and throws him out. It's tied up on a nasty two seam fastball his last time up and struck out. Another round ball. Chipper looks like he's hurt. I'm not sure what it is. I thought he looked funny when he ran past the bag at first. Hoping they do the same thing. Ionetta sets up outside. And he does the same thing. Well, that, that sure seemed young to me. And that was the most he walked all spring. It was a total of five walks. I mean, he just shut it on down on the yeah, Twins. right. Right center field, well hit. That's going to be extra bases. Rolling towards the fence. Atkins towards third. They're going to send him. And Kelly Johnson drops the relay throw. RBI triple. Clint Barmas. Aaron Cook hits this one to center field. Schaefer the grab. Barmas will tag. He'll score 9 0. Ten games back. Well, what are the White Sox bringing to the table? That ball is broke right field. And Frank Cor can't make the play. Fowler racing for second. 
And he's going to try for third. And Fowler's got a triple. Padres have a better record, though, than the White Sox do. Out to Hernandez, who gathers it in, throws out to Lewinsky, and that was the type of guy that can do it as well. Boy, a ton of those. Farmis unloads. For the most part, it's been sinker, sinker, and hey, how about the sinker? Outside corner. And then but regardless, two-seamer, four-seamer, they're fastballs, and another rollover ground ball. Clint Barmas. First base, Kochman backing up and into foul ground. Moy On schedule. One of the elements of it that I do like is a little early for that yet. Uh huh. Boylan gloves go to Kelly at second one. Double play. Chance to hit here in the bottom of the eighth. And a ground ball to second for a change. One away. Today, today by the batting cage about how well he hit the ball in spring training. And a ground ball to second base. Todd Helton will take this one. Cook. And that's that. Pitch. Wow. There you go, Eric. Hey, yeah. Helton was preceded by a couple of outs. Have enough of the year for the next two months. Two two to Prado. Punched softly to right. Hop coming on. Dives. Did he make the grab? You bet. The other way, McCann pretty well hit, but Spillboard holds it in. Brian McCann came so close. And Todd helped with a huge night. Round ball, and it ends, I guess you'd say, as it should, with Barmas collecting the ground ball, throwing to first, and Aaron Cook with his second major league shutout and ninth career complete game. He's our Home Depot player of the game, 9-0 the final.